this is Thursday noontime, so it's time for Merle's Pearls. I'm Merle M. Singer, the Relationship Miracle Worker. I've been married over 50 years to the same person, <laughs> and happily. Well, there was that time in year 19, but never mind that. <laughs> Still going strong. So I must know something about relationship. Maybe not anything else, but I know something about relationship. And so I, uh, every, um, every week, I think, hello, Anita. Every week uh, I give a, um, a broadcast and it's Merle's Pearls. Merle's Pearls of Wisdom about the one topic I know about, which is relationship. My topic today is what singles, what single people do better than married people. Uh, there is a kind of a prejudice in, uh, at least in the United States, about it's better to be married. Well, you know, I'll, I'll go along with that. If you do it right, married is, is actually pretty good. But uh, single has its advantages. And as a matter of fact, single people do some things better than their married people, other their married friends or whatever. One of the interesting things about that single people do very well is that they um, create a, uh, a group. They, they are social you it's not as common and I know a lot of single people and it's not as common for single people to hold themselves up and just be a hermit I mean it happens but that's unusual the people that I know that are single have friends they do things with friends they may not have a single partner that they can do things with but they have a group Maybe it's two or three, maybe it's five or six, it depends. And they have different people, different friends from different places. They also are uh, really great aunts and uncles. They are very good at their extended family. And uh, is a, they'll, they'll babysit, they'll do, uh, they'll, they'll share and enjoy your children and your family in a way that's that's it's totally an asset especially if heaven forbid your parents are gone having a brother and sister uh, is often uh, a, a wonderful asset for your children and that's something that single people do better than if you have uh, two or three married uh, uh, siblings so, uh, I, and I think today it's, it's more acceptable, way more acceptable. Oh my God, it's so way acceptable. <laughs> when I was uh, a single, which was, hey, guess what? Before I was married, <laughs> it was, uh, being single was something you did before you got married. It wasn't something you just did. <laughs> so, uh, you know, today's society with COVID having problems and with there's uh, our, our politicians, we, we tend, to, tend to be either left or right or this or that, right or wrong. Even so, we have opened up ourselves to all the different ways there is to live. Uh, that can be uh, sexually, that can be with uh, marriages between different groups, uh, it can be not marriages, it can be singles, single women. I, okay, I just heard a story about a single woman she was she dated this 
fellow for six years, I think, long time, and he's still, after six years, I'm not interested, I don't want to get married, no, I don't want kids. So, what did she do? She said, oh, excuse me, I have some place to go, and, the, and, and that was it, that was the end of that relationship, and what she did was she had artificial semination, and she had her own kid. And her kid's about, I think, uh, I think four. And she's doing fine as a single mother. Now, now that's something when I was in my 20s, it couldn't, it's not that it wasn't acceptable, it wasn't even imagined. Well, I don't think they had artificial insemination, but that's, anyway. So one of the wonderful things about now is that as much as we do seem to be contentious, even so, overall, we're much more accepting of, of differences. There isn't, this is the way it has to be, and that's the way it has to be. Uh, there are groups of people that proclaim that they know, they have the knowledge to know that this is the way to be. But most of us, <laughs> we just live and, and I think, uh, and it probably has something to do with um, the social media, is we meet people that are different from us, that have different ideas. And, and you know, they seem to be kind of nice people. <laughs> interesting people and yet wow I was never exposed to that idea or this idea so I think that's one of the things that is advantageous about now um, as much as we're used to complaining about oh the way and it, it's not the way it used to be the way it used to be had its issues <laughs> I'll always take now over then <laughs> But uh, because now you can move forward and make things even better. And uh, so back to the uh, topic of what singles do better than marriage. Oh, the other thing, uh, I, I read an article about this and I, I should have it in front of me, but I don't. But I do remember um, that interestingly, single people are thinner. <laughs> they, they, they're, they don't have issues of obesity in the same way that married people do. Apparently, it's true um, that once, not once, but sometime after they uh, get married, people just kind of let go. They don't feel like they have anything to prove. Um, well, you don't have anything to prove. Whether you're married or single, you don't have anything to prove. But it's healthy to have a healthy weight. And uh, uh, sometimes women get discouraged. It is hard. It takes an effort to lose that weight after, after childbirth. There's no question about it. And some people, it's easier. Some people, it's more difficult. So, um, you know, you just, uh, you just do it. But um, apparently, married people have a, have an issue, have difficulties in a lot of cases with losing that weight, uh, and so therefore they are subject. Uh, I used to hear that single people were subject to more illnesses and stuff, but the fact that they're able to keep their weight off um, makes them a little more healthy and less subject to some, you know, like heart disease, diabetes, things like that. So, so that's, that's a good thing about being single. So if anybody hassles you, you can tell them that assuming you're single, <laughs> uh, that, um, you're more social and you may not have realized it. And you know, because if you're gonna be a hermit, if you're a hermit as a couple, you're really not a hermit. But if you're not a couple and, and you kind of hang around your house too much, that's, that, that's not good. And I think 
single people realize that more from as as I observe single people and they take the time and make the effort to get out and be among other people and oh 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 and the other thing they do that goes along with this is um, they volunteer more so there it's I mean it's one thing to give money to Feed America it's another thing to join and be part of the people that help Feed America and uh, single people and maybe it's a matter of having more time or and, and I'm sure that's part of it but part of it is also an orientation of I want to give to the world and this is one of the ways so what does that mean that means that it's great to be married it means it's great to be single it what's really great is the variety because in the same way that we don't tell people that this is what when you grow up you have to be an engineer when you grow up you have to be a tailor when you and, and even with not telling anybody what they have to do we seem to end up having people that are engineers, having people that are janitors, having people that are uh, uh, nurses, all different things. And so that's excellent. That means in a free world, we can, and when we have an opportunity to choose, we get a little bit of everything. And it's the same with our situation. We get a little bit of single, a little bit of married, a little bit of gay, a little bit of straight, a little bit of um, different ways of having couples. So that's, uh, that's the thing that I think single people need to be uh, focused on. And then if you understand the value that you offer as a single person in a single life, then make that life as happy as you can. Do those things that you enjoy doing because some of the things you enjoy doing are already adding value, value, value to the world. Now, if that's the case, I think you should feel good about that. And if you feel good about that, that's terrific. Because when we feel better about ourselves, we feel happier. When we feel better about ourselves and we feel happier, then if some somebody just happens to come into your life serendipitously, awesome. And you're ready. You're 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 attractive. You're magnetically attractive because of your feeling happy and doing stuff that you enjoy and contributing to the world who wouldn't be attracted to that and that means you the person that is attracted to that is going to be somebody that's happy and um and uh, uh, values contributing to the world the way you do so you're going to attract a, a good kind of person and then, or you're not. And then I got a batch of friends. I've got my, my family. I've got my job. I have my volunteer work. I have my meditation. I work out uh, and I'm cool and I'm given to the world. And that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, and, and, and as a married or single or whatever, that's where we want to go. We want to do the things that we enjoy doing to make ourselves happy and to give a contribution. And, and we can contribute once we're happy. Happy first. Happy first. Then people and everything else second. That's my word of the, that's my pearls, <laughs> pearls, pearls. That's my pearls of wisdom. Uh, but I'll tell you one thing, you know, we, uh, that uh, Patty and I, Patty Negri and I teach the class um, 
uh, married. Oh my God, I just went blank. This a single, the science, the magic and science, <laughs> the magic and science of love workshop. We're going to create a waiting list for our next one. So you can direct message me, ask me about it. We haven't done it yet. So look for it. And uh, any questions you have, if you want to talk to me, go to relationshipmiracleworker.com uh, uh, slash appointment and, uh, and pick out a time. That's it. See you next Thursday at noontime. Meantime, ask me any questions, make any comments. Uh, anything that you want me to cover, let me know. I'm here for you. Have a great day. Have a great week. See you next week.